Hello everybody, Xanafar here, and let's do a review of the English dub of Ultraman Z. If you don't know, Ultraman Z actually has a dub now. And what is my thoughts on this dub? Well, let's talk about the voice actors. So let's talk about the main character, Haruki. Who is he voiced by? Zeno Robinson. What is my thoughts on his voice acting? He's a fantastic voice actor. He captures Haruki's personality so very well, with him being loud and screaming okay. Just, he just does a great job and you can tell he's having fun with his character. He also does a great job with the emotional scenes, like when Haruki re-accounted his father. That's probably his best voice acting in any of the episodes. Or when Haruki is having a panic attack, he also does a great job with voice acting, especially when he needs to scream. He's a really good screamer. So Zeno Robinson is a fantastic voice actor and clearly he understands Haruki. We also can't get about Haruki's bud, Ultraman Z. Who voiced Ultraman Z? Matt Shipman. And my thoughts on his voice acting? He's amazing as Ultraman Z. Clearly he loves his character so very much and he is clearly having fun being an Ultraman. Also, his chemistry with Zeno Robinson, a voice actor for Haruki, is so fun to listen to. They clearly rub off each other very well. And I have to admit, he captures Zet's talking weird very well. It's something I always had problems with with other Ultraman Z voice actors. And that's something I really enjoyed. To me, he is the affinity voice as Ultraman Z. Now let's talk about my favorite character, Judless Juddler. Who does his voice? Mitt Loward. Now honestly, I was very worried about Juddler because I loved his character so very much and they could easily mess it up. So did they? No. Because Mitt Loward is the voice for Juddler. He does a great job captioning when Juddler is in captain mode and then when he's in Juddler mode. And I really enjoyed that didn't touch with his voice and just how cool and awesome he is. If they ever do a dub for Ultraman Orb, they better cast Mitt Loward. Because he does a fantastic job and clearly understands his character. Now let's talk about Yoko. Who does the voice for Yoko? Natalie Rodat. She does a great job being Yoko, especially when she's all lovey-dovey for Ultraman Z. It's so funny, especially you can tell the actress is having fun with those scenes. Especially when she gets hype, it's very fun to listen to. She is a fantastic voice actress. And who does a voice for Yuka? Macy Ann Johnson. You can just tell she's having so much fun being Yuka, because Yuka is just such a fun character and must have been so fun to play. And she is clearly doing an amazing job. But also she can do a really great job with emotional and intense scenes with her voice acting. So she is a fantastic voice actress. Now who does the voice for Bako? Kent. Williams and his voice acting for Baco is amazing. He is clearly capturing Baco energy, but he's also really good at emotional intense scenes, like with the episode with Baco's daughter, or when Haruki reveals himself to be Ultraman Z. That scene is very well done and very emotional with his voice acting. So Kent Williams is Baco to me. Now we're talk about. Bedarot. Who does the voice? Patrick Sipes. I was very worried who they were going to cast to be Bedarot, but Patrick Sipes really ace being Bedarot and he is really good. His voice just sounds so cool. I would love to see his performance as Bedarot if he ever got a chance to be Bedarot, but just a great voice actor. Now let's talk about Ultraman G's voice actor. Kevin K. Gomez. I think he did a pretty good job as G. He captures Riku's personality very well, and let's just hope he'll get an opportunity to do the voice of G once again, maybe in his own show. Now, who does the voice for Ultraman Zero? Sean Schemmel. Goku himself. And that is fantastic casting. At first, when I heard it, I didn't know it was Sean Schemmel. And I didn't really like it, and I was really worried about Zero's casting. But when Zero reappeared, and I actually found out it was Sean Shema doing the dub voice, I really, really loved it. It was fantastic. I would love to see him get another opportunity to voice Zero. 
Now who does the voice for Ultraman Ace? Charles Campbell. And he does an amazing job as Ace. He sounds just like KJ Tatamai, the actor who played Ultraman Ace's host and voiced Ace in Ultraman Z. And that's something that surprised me and I really enjoyed his performance and he's just a very talented voice actor. And who does the voice for the villain Shinya slash Celebro? Howard Wayne. And he does a really good job being the villain. He does a really great job being creepy and just very, very evil. We can't forget about the Erector. And who does the voice for the Erector? Ben Phillips. And he does a great job being the Erector. When the Erector has stomach days and his performance is really funny to listen to. But when he's affected by Cerebro, he's intimidating. And just a great job. I really enjoyed his performance. And who is the narrator for this dub? Well, that is Crystal Sabin. If you don't know who that is, he's a very famous voice actor, voiced many Dragon Ball characters, and he's in the Saturday the Deuce of this dub. And he does an amazing job as a narrator. He does sound like Piccolo to me, and I think that's very funny. Still, a great narrator voice, and he did a great job with this dub. So if you can't tell, my thoughts on this dub, this dub is amazing, and I absolutely love this dub. It's so nice we finally got the amazing dub with amazing voice actors. Most of them worked on many animes, so that is why this dub is so good, because anime voice actors are awesome, and these actors truly had fun doing this job, and I thank them for that. I just want to say... I doubt they're watching, but if you are, thank you. Thank you for doing this role and clearly having fun and taking it very seriously. This dub I really loved so very much and it just made me fall in love with Ultraman Z all over again. So I absolutely love this dub. Well, tell me down below what you think of this dub. Thank you for watching. If you're new, subscribe. If you like this video, drop a like for this video. Xanafar is out. Wait a minute, how are you back to normal? Tower man, what are you doing here? Like, when did you like separated? Well, it's a long story.